Sagittarius, it's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Um, it's your turn. So remember that all of my reads are timeless. Whenever you find this reading, it is definitely for you. This is going to be a general read, not a love reading. So <clears throat> if you've found this video, know in your heart that there's definitely something in here for you. All right. So while my readings are timeless, it will be dated for January 2024, okay? Um, we are going to be reading for Sagittarius. I've already welcomed in my whole spirit team, and I have Archangel Michael here holding protective space for us while I read for you. So let's go ahead and call in the guides of all of the Sagittariuses right now that are tuned in to me and all of the ones that will be tuned in to me in the future. All right, welcome, this is a sacred space. And let's go ahead and dive right in and see what messages um, you need to know for this moment. Happy Leo full moon. <laughs> All right, what do we have for Sagittarius? You know what, I'm gonna start with the Oceanic Tarot um, to see like uh, what the vibe is going to be for this reading first. And then we'll switch to the standard Rider Waite Tarot. And then we'll end with um, some spirit messages for you. And some charms. Okay. Alright, what do we have for Sagittarius? What is the message which needs to come out for Sagittarius at this time? What do we have for Sagittarius, please? We have three of wands, motivation. <laughs> of course, that's so perfect. <laughs> for all of the Sagittarius I know personally, you guys have been really burning the candles at both ends in the most beautiful way. <clears throat> um, definitely. Sagittarius, you are on the hustle. You are creating, your messages are coming through quickly already and fast. This is good. Um, I love it when, <laughs> um, I just did my meditation, so that might have opened up the channels a little bit faster than usual. So you are definitely setting yourself up for an amazing future. I see you like staring out into your future timelines, right? Which I hate saying it like that because time is, we know time's not really linear, like everything coexists at one time, right? Past, present, future is, is sort of created by us as we go. Um, so, but I do see you like setting things up for yourself in, in and I'm seeing like a lot of luxury. So I was going to say in, in a luxurious way, but yes, I mean, you are, <laughs> you're creating this. beautiful, bountiful future for yourself in an exquisite way. Wow, look at this, Sagittarius. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. I told you. So if you look at this energy, it's swirling. It's beautiful. Um, the fish represent abundance. We have this vortex of abundance that you set up for yourself. The energy is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Can I just say that? It's like this swirling vert, vort, vertex. <laughs> it's like this swirling vortex of bliss and abundance and joy. And I'm loving just sitting in your energy right now. Can I say that? It's incredible. It's beautiful. I love it. My little, hold on. So this is going to drive me crazy. I have to move this stuff. I have like a little cloth down here. <laughs> I'm a little bit OCD about stuff. And I just hit my camera. Um, but I switched the cloth up. Normally I have the sun and the moon together and I switched it up to the side that says know thyself. Let's see, I'll show you. It says know thyself and then it says past, present, future. Normally I have it on this one. Hold on. But I switched it up today. I don't know why I felt guided to switch it up to this one. So that might mean something to you as well, Sagittarius. Know thyself. 
You have to know yourself inside and out to truly be able to serve humanity in the best way, right? You have to know thyself. It's very important. So, yes. All right, let's set my little skulls back up. We have cinnamon, earth. can't remember what we named the green one <laughs> anyways it's just it was driving me crazy because it was crooked and it was showing a little bit of the white and I don't like it okay so Be on the lookout for signs that are showing you something that you've been waiting and trying to manifest for a while. There's a certain type of magic, synchronistic energy in the air in regards to your destiny, your chosen path that you set up for your soul before you reincarnated into this earth plane, okay? So, lots of clues being thrown at you right now, Sagittarius, okay? Wow, look at this. I told you when I said that your energy was incredible, I wasn't lying. We have happiness. It's the sun. There is the, there's two children playing. There is this energy of perfect, pure love energy. The sun represents source energy or God. It's the energy of the oneness which connects us all. Um, there's this childlike innocence that is radiating from you right now, Sagittarius, and is just drawing people into you like a cosmic light. You know, the sun represents pure um, happiness, joy, bliss, right? So whatever is being unlocked for you in regards to your soul path and your destiny, it's going to bring you so much emotional fulfillment, right? I mean, the sun, it's beautiful. It's, it's Leo energy, right? Leo is represented by the sun. So and it, it doesn't have anything to do with the sign of Leo. It's just the energy I'm I'm sort of feeling from this. You know, that's why if, if anyone ever knows a Leo, <laughs> they bring a certain sort of effervescence to things, right? They have this certain childlike exuberance about them. And that's why, you know, Leo is represented by the sun, okay? It's a sun sign. Um, what else was I going to say? Yes, and these readings, they pertain to your sun, moon, rising, and also your Venus sign. So if you know what those are, feel free to put it where it falls in. We're going to get two more cards from here. I don't even know what else to channel for you guys. You have um, whatever it is that you've been you know, since you've been working so hard and you've been so motivated lately, you're creating a lot of financial stability for yourself, right? But I feel like it's not just financial stability. I feel like, sorry, my chair is squeaking as I'm shuffling. <laughs> I feel like you're also creating a lot of emotional stability for yourself, right? Like by emotional stability, I mean a lot of joy and bliss, moments of happiness, and it's because your inside is reflecting on the outside. The inner shadow work that you've been doing is reflecting on the outside. Look, we have four of pentacles security. And this has been a long time coming, right? This whole inner peace. It's You've had to be really, really patient and slow like the turtle, right? <laughs> but it's, it's here. It has arrived, my beautiful Sagittarius. Knight of Wands, we have activity. Look at this. So whatever it is you're doing right now, it's really fulfilling for you or it will be, okay? If you're not there yet, know that this whole uncovering your destiny, it's gonna bring you so much emotional fulfillment, right? Whatever it is that you do for 
you know, to create financial abundance on this earth plane is going to be really satisfying for you. Knight of Wands is about passion. It's about creating, right? And it's about doing it passionately. You know, you're a fire sign, Sagittarius. You thrive on the creative process. Okay. There's also two seahorses on here, which can represent a twin flame connection. So keep that in mind. Um, that is my twin flame symbol in this deck. I'm not, I don't know if that's, that's going to resonate with anyone, but I just thought I would throw that out there, right? You could be, um, if you're not in union with your person, your twin flame, you could be in union with them soon and working together to create this shared sort of passion, okay? That's what's also is coming through. All right, I think I'm going to get one more card from this deck and then we're going to switch decks. Your reading has already been so beautiful. Like, I don't even know what else to channel for you. It's just incredible. I keep catching my hair. <laughs> my hair is so long. Every time I shuffle, I catch my hair. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's funny. All right, one last final message for Sagittarius. Please, and then we're moving on. I'm going to keep these readings short and sweet. We have judgments. Wow. Look at that. Self-reflection. Okay. The time has come for you to receive all of these blessings, Sagittarius, because you have done the spiritual work. I'm going to clap for you. <laughs> the self-reflection, the self-love has slowly started to shift into self-confidence and self-acceptance and because of this beautiful vortex shift you're creating all of these magical blessings for yourself and the signs and the synchronicities are going to get way stronger from this moment okay your angels at this time are sending you so many Signs and synchronicities, okay? I see a lot of beautiful emotions coming up for you with this self-reflection, right? And this sort of self-love. The way the angel is sitting in the water is, I keep hearing um, knee deep in the emotions, but it's a feeling of like accepting yourself and how far you've come look i was just gonna say your personal growth and then there it is ace of wands growth look at that i'm telling you that whatever it is that you're going to find yourself doing for financial gain you're going to be so satisfied with it and you're your destiny is linked up with not just what you're doing financially, but it's going to be a soul type mission. That's going to be extremely fulfilling for you. Okay, we're going to go on to the Rider Waits. I don't even know what else it can possibly come up for you. This energy is incredible. I'm, I'm feeling giddy for you, Sag. All right. Um, it's beautiful. I just keep hearing from your spirit team. You've done so well. You've done so well. They keep saying you've done so well. Well done. Well done. Well done. What else? Final messages for Sag. Ten of Wands. Knight of Wands. Again. See? So it's like this energy of in the past where you felt bogged down and drudged down by um whatever it is you were doing financial wise now you've found a creative spark right we have ten of wands be careful and be cautious too because the ten of wands can mean like taking on too much having too much responsibility make sure that you balance out your newfound passion so that you don't burn yourself out okay i'm just gonna throw that out there because this can have that energy okay but it feels to me as if you're moving out of this energy of like same old same old 
you know, the same way to make money to all of a sudden finding this creative spark and you're like, oh, I love what I do. This is so fun. This is so great. You know, um, I can't even believe that this is my job, right? Um, they gave us the five of pentacles, which, you know, can be some kind of financial setback. So I'm going to pull some cards on that. We get some clarifiers. Why do we have the five of pentacles here for Sagittarius? My chair is so squeaky. It's so funny. The lovers. Wow. Okay. So I feel like I'm going to lose some of you with this. <laughs> But here's what's going to come through. We got the lovers. So some of you might have dealt with someone um, in the romantic department where you really felt left out in the cold by them. You might have felt like they gave you the cold shoulder. You felt abandoned by them, very much alone. And so this person, either you or this person has to come to a choice, right? The lovers is about a choice and love. Let's pull some more cards on this. Tell me more about this connection for the Sagittarius who is watching and has questions about this love. Wow, the devil. So this person may not show it, but they're very obsessed with you. Either that or you're very obsessed with them. The devil came out, which shows me like this really um infatuated obsessive type energy in regards to love so it, it's not necessarily um a low vibrational energy the devil is just someone who's very very um like i said they know what they want when they want it right and it's someone who gets very obsessed and fixated on an energy and in this case the energy is you so they're very attracted to you okay the devil represents a very obsessive attraction. So it's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Um, I mean, who doesn't want their person to be obsessed with them, right? Of course we want our person to be obsessed with us. What else do we need to know about this connection for Sagittarius? The next few cards will let us know whether this is a healthy connection or a, or a not so healthy one, okay? Can we get two cards about this connection? Your person is fighting themselves. They're, they are. Okay. So your person is, is they have been fighting with themselves for a long time. Sagittarius. We have five of wands, which is it's conflict. Okay. But I don't feel like the conflict is between you. They're obviously obsessed with you. They have this very strong physical attraction to you, right? And with the lover's card, this shows me that it's it's not just, it's not like a low vibrational connection. They This is a very divinely guided, look, there's an angel there. Um, this is a deep soul connection, right? But for some reason or another, I don't know why, they're fighting themselves. They're, they're, there's a, some kind of internal conflict. They're fighting with themselves. They're like, oh, there's a million reasons why they're, they feel like they shouldn't make this step towards you. And what they really need to do is quiet their thoughts and go into meditation. And I feel like they reach a pivotal point where they're going to do that. They're, they, whatever decision they come to, they, they come to a decision of peace. Okay. And I think a lot of that Sagittarius is because you're at this place of peace where you're just like, whatever happens is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the energy outside of ourselves is is only the energy that is being reflected inside of us. As harsh as that sounds, it's true. So the minute that you come to a sort of sense of inner peace and stop the conflict inside of yourself in regards to this connection, your person is going to come to that sense of inner peace too. All right, can we get a final outcome card for this connection? What is going to be the next step? And I'll put all these cards back in just in case we have repeating energies for you. All right. So what is going to be the final 
outcome for this connection that Sagittarius is feeling. So you have all these beautiful things coming in your, you know, future timeline for your abundance and your job. And yet the only thing that's on your mind is this love situation, of course. I feel like that's with all the signs. It's like I have everything I need, but what about this love thing? <laughs> what is going to be the final outcome between these two? It's so funny. It's like I'm not going to do love readings, but then boom, love always seems to come out. So we have the two of swords. Your person is still at this crossroads where they feel like they haven't, they know they need to come to a decision, but they haven't yet. So I, I don't know if they're going to make a decision anytime soon. Let's see. One more card, please. In regards to this connection. Oh, it looks like they're going to make a decision to come forward. Sag, look, we have Knight of Swords. So this is someone that, that makes the decision. And once they do... <laughs> um. It, they can be a little bit overly hasty. So they might trip over their words. They might stumble. They might have foot in their mouth syndrome. <laughs> you know, like this is the energy. Look at how fast this person's coming in. It's like once they've made up their mind, they're like, I'm just going to do it. And I feel like they do it so quickly that it's going to be one of those moments where when they do contact you, it's going to be like, I, 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 well, I, 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 you know what I mean? Like all the words are just going to come tumbling out so quickly that you're not going to know what's what and what's where. And, you know, where the end is and the ABCs and the dots and the one, two, threes. <laughs> you're not going to be able to put two and two together. And you might even have to be like, whoa, 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 like slow down because they're just going to want to get everything off their chest so quickly i can oh god there's something in my eye hold on i feel like they're just gonna want all of the words to just come tumbling out and you're gonna be like whoa like calm down there okay so that, that we're done <laughs> we're done we're gonna get a grace card for you this reading is already getting way longer than I want it to be. So let's move on. <laughs> Your person is coming. <laughs> quickly. They're coming in quickly. All right. Spirit message for Sag. Oh, gosh. What is going on? Hold on. Oh, my goodness, goodness. It's an eyelash or something. Okay. Now is that the time, Spirit. So there might be something with your left eye. Um, my left eye just all of a sudden started bothering me. So there's that. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. There was a little hair on my glasses. Okay. Um, Sagittarius, please. We have receive. So if you are the divine feminine in this connection, there's nothing that you need to do. I noticed that collectively the divine feminines are really in the receiving um, mode. And because, you know, we are standing in our power and we are just sitting back and saying, there's nothing that I need to do other than to just sit here, receive and look pretty. <laughs> we are standing in our power and it is bringing everything in super quickly and so easily so say it with me Sag I bring in everything super quickly and easily that I desire and I'm gonna go ahead and just let us be in Delulu land for a little bit because we can be <laughs> so allow yourself to just be in your receiving mode and allow your person to just come in with that big sword and ride in like that white horse <laughs> like the knight in the white horse and spill his guts and even then, you are under no obligation to accept his offer if he does not come in correctly, okay? For those feminines that are watching me, all right? I'm going to let you know that right now. You are under no obligation to give in to his wiles just because 
he comes in with the that 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 I I'm uh, uh, I love you. <laughs> you know, you have every right to pause, reflect, and to pause the moment. Take your time in making your decisions. Okay. Use your intuition, my darlings. All right, so we have received. When we open ourselves up to others, we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe. So it sounds like spirit is letting you know that it's okay to open yourselves up to this person, okay? <laughs> and look on the bottom of the deck, or there's no coincidences. We have love. It says, share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression of grace. So... That is the advice from spirits. I'm going to leave it at that, Sag. All right, let's go ahead and get a Moonology card for you, and then we'll pick a charm, and we will conclude this reading. If anything resonated, please um, thumbs up the video and subscribe. It's completely free for you. So, And share with all your amazing, incredible fire sign Sagittarius friends. Because they need their daily dose of bunny as well. Everybody needs their daily dose of bunny, right? The Baroness Bunny. Oh, oof, 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 oofy, oofy. Spirit is giving you two cards, Sagittarius. Ouch! <laughs> Set my foot. Okay, so we have first quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. Okay, now this could be unleashing your beautiful, kind heart on everybody. But I feel like mainly spirit is asking you to unleash your kindest self on yourself, Sagittarius. Please unleash it on yourself because you deserve it. You're so incredible. You are. <laughs> and spirit is saying, don't forget it. So please extend that same kindness that you extend to everybody else to yourself. Put that love right back in Sagittarius's cup. Okay, we have full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. <laughs> Do not allow yourself to get stressed. Waiting for all of these wonderful things to come in. Just trust and know that they are coming in. Okay? It's time to breathe through the tension. Up your meditation. If you meditate twice a day, do it three times a day. Do it four. <laughs> that is not my advice. It's spirits. Don't shoot the messenger. I love you. Okay, we're going to pull the charm and then we're going to be done. So I'm going to explain the charms to you. Here they are. I went into meditation and I got answers from my spirit guides for all of these charms. <laughs> I had all these charms just sitting around and I said, what should I do with them? And spirit gave me this incredible idea to give you yet another way to channel messages for you, my beautiful subscribers. And so... Um, I wrote down regular messages and love messages for each charm. So let's do it. Yay. And my eyes are closed. You can't see me. So you're just going to have to trust me on that. And if you're here, I feel like you really do trust me. Or else you wouldn't be here. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> Sagittarius. Ooh, we, we have the kitty cat. Boop. Ooh, I like it. I think the kitty cat means seduction. Ooh, somebody is really wanting to touch Sagittarius. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let me just show you how much work I put into what I do. La 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 la. First page of meanings, or first page of meanings, second page of meanings. I wrote them all down. It says, love meanings in parentheses. Okay, my writing, excuse the chicken scratch. Cat. Okay, so the regular meaning is magic. Oh my God. See, I told you, I said, be, there is an energy of magic surrounding you and you're manifesting all of these things through this magic energy. I said that in the beginning of the reading. If you don't believe me, rewind. So here's what I do when I know that I'm channeling spot on. I toot my horn, right? Because, you know, they say, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty amazing. So toot, toot, <laughs> toot, 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 toot. I'm just going to. I'm just, I'm loving myself right now. Okay, so the cat, so the love meaning of the cat is sensuality. Oh, I thought it was um, being seduced. Okay, so, but see, Sagittarius, you are in your 
sensual energy and everybody is noticing it and it's getting you a lot of attention because sensuality and divine feminine energy is very sexy. Okay, so that seems like an awesome spot to conclude this reading. I love you, Sagittarius. Bye.